Alright guys, so I finally have some free time and a moment to make a video actually explaining about what's actually going on with my spree instead of a vague video with no description and just me randomly writing it. So this is my 1985 spree. I got it on trade for some mechanical work. When I got it, it was basically ruined. I mean the oil pump had stopped working and they kept riding it, completely destroyed the top end and the uh, splines on the end of the crankshaft were all worn out, so I had just used a different spare motor that I had for a long time. Set this to the side and just started building some experimental stuff on it, I guess. Um, it's got an old Tazland cylinder, I believe, the 48 millimeter big bore cylinder, um, but the, I don't have a piston for it. So I ended up using a 48 millimeter piston out of a uh, motorized bicycle motor. I actually have another. I'll go grab that and show you on camera real quick. But this is what I've this is what I've got in there. This one's obviously a little messed up. I was still playing around with getting everything figured out when I ran this one and took it out, rehomed the cylinder and put it back in, put a new one back in. But yeah, this is what I'm using. 48 millimeter piston out of a motorized bicycle kit that's windowed. Um, I had to put a spacer between the uh, case and the cylinder. But other than that, it runs pretty well. It has pretty high compression, so I run 95 octane fuel and yeah, I'll switch over to the other side and show you the other unique thing about this. So on this side of the motor, it obviously is no longer single speed. This is a variator from a 50cc GY6 motor, the QMB139, I believe. Um, what I've done to make this fit on the crankshaft is... Uh, this is my first version. I'm going to make another one, but use it for my first version. I have these 12 millimeter steel bushings that are M10 by 1.25 and they thread right on the end of the crankshaft. And then inside the variator, I have this bushing, this variator bushing that I got from Scooter Swap Shop. It's a 12 millimeter inner diameter, 20 millimeter outer diameter, and 38 millimeter length, so it fits right inside these. 50cc GY6 variator uh, ends and then um, I just have a bolt going into it with uh, an eighth inch split pin and a hole drilled through to keep this from spinning on and off under belt load um, pretty much the same setup on the back pulley uh, except instead of a bolt going in uh, well, it's still a bolt. I just threaded it in and then cut the head off the bolt and welded a nut to the outside of the clutch bell housing. And uh, so that is held in place by another pin as well. And the bolt that's threaded into the bushing in there is welded to the bushing. So it's not going to unscrew itself or move around. And I actually have about two hours ride time on this and it, it holds together pretty well. I am going to make a better version of all this. I have another motor, but this is a actual steel rod that I'm going to machine down and put the threads in. And it'll be a lot stronger than any of these bushings. I just didn't know if any of this would actually work. So I just made something quick and easy with, i made all this with a drill, an angle grinder, and a welder, and a thread tap, and that's it. Um, up here for the intake manifold, I'm running a four bolt Dio intake manifold. I built a little adapter plate. The reason it's only <laughs> that thin is because I just had it left over from making the wing on my drag car and uh, I didn't want to go out and buy more aluminum. Otherwise, if it were about like quarter inch or 10 mil thick, it could have had a much smoother transfer, but I still definitely gained, I could feel a good amount of power increase uh, with this intake manifold versus the stock one or even a ported stock one. But yeah, that's kind of the setup on the scooter. Also, I guess the exhaust, it is a eBay exhaust for a uh, Dio 
All I had to do was uh, grind down on that, and then it fit the uh, fit the head studs for the exhaust. And over here, you can see they just had to drill a hole right there in the center of that. It lines up, but those bolts line up. I just don't have one in the bottom. I should. I guess I should have one down there, but I don't. But everything lines up. Um, the, uh, the pipe with this pipe the motor doesn't seem to want to rev past like 10,000 but I you know that's fine with me it makes good power between like 75 and 9 pretty well but yeah that's kind of a little explanation of what's actually going on with this Honda Spree and how I've got it set up if you've got any advice to make it better faster anything just let me know I've uh, been playing around with different torque springs variator weights trying to get it right um, yeah, thanks for checking it out. And I mean, I guess I can start it up for you guys real quick. It's a. Uh... Oh, yeah. The only downside to all this, obviously, is that I've lost my ability to start it with the kickstart or obviously the electric start. So I have to start it with a drill. so <clears throat> yeah that was just a quick demonstration of the uh, working variator on this Honda Spree 
I realized going back over the footage, I didn't really explain very well how I put this together. So if you really are interested, at the end, I'll kind of, I'm thinking about putting a slideshow in the end showing, because I did take pictures of everything I did, or most of everything I did. It might be missing a couple steps, but you'll get the idea. Um, as you can see, though, at the end of that uh, demonstration, we are not even in our power band. It's got a lot more in it. We're shifting, or the max RPM we even hit was 7,000 RPM. And the power band on this motor doesn't even start till about like 7,500 RPM. So it's definitely got more in it. Um, uh, once I get the proper variator weights and spring torque spring in the back, um, I'll update with a video and actually show it on a GPS. Uh, <clears throat> the speed, the top speed, I'll have to take it somewhere else because I, I do not have any flat roads in my area at all. I'll just have to load it up in my buddy's truck and take it somewhere, but... We'll get that done. I um, hope you guys like the video. Uh, thanks for watching it. Thanks for watching it, and as always, have a great day.